Okay, so in this video, we're going to finish up those notes with a problem where we talk about slope as a rate of change, okay? So we introduced this concept by talking about rate of change first, and then we went over how to find slope using rise over run uh, or using the slope formula, okay? But the main thing that we have to understand is slope is a rate of change. So those two phrases or terms are always interchangeable. If you're thinking of slope, you're thinking of rate of change. If you're thinking of rate of change, you're thinking of slope. So it's really important to understand the, the link between those two things, all right? So uh, we've got a situation here. We've got a graph that uh, compares temperature on the y-axis here uh, to altitude on the x-axis, okay? And you can see that as altitude is, increases, okay, so as we get higher and higher and higher above sea level, okay, uh, then our temperature is going to be falling, okay? So just by looking at this line, you should be able to tell that the slope, and because of that, the rate of change is going to be negative because this line falls from left to right, okay? So it's always important to understand what the sign of your slope is going to be before you even start the process, okay? So on the line, we, we know two ordered pairs, okay? So we always want to account for the ordered pairs that we know, all right? And we're going to use the slope formula, okay, uh, to find the slope of this line and therefore to find the rate of change um, of the temperature compared to the altitude, okay? So we want to subtract our y-coordinates, 13 minus 25 in the numerator. In the denominator, we're going to subtract our x-coordinates, 2200 minus 200, okay? Let's simplify both. That gives us negative 12 over 2,000, okay? Both these values are divisible by four. I don't want the decimal here. I wanna keep this you know, in a simplified fraction format, okay? So the most simplified we can make this fraction is negative three over 500, okay? The decimal representation of this wouldn't mean as much to you, okay? Um, we could talk about that at a later time if you'd like to, uh, but for now I wanna leave that um, as a simplified fraction, okay? So this is our slope, but we want to, let's interpret that as a rate of change, okay? So remember, the slope is negative three over 500. As a rate of change, and using units, we're gonna write that as negative three degrees Celsius. Remember, the numerator is gonna be whatever's on the y-axis here, and that's temperature. So that's negative three degrees Celsius over what's on the x-axis here, which is the altitude. Um, and that's going to be 500 meters because that's the unit that's specified uh, with the label here, okay? So using units, we would write this as negative 3 degrees Celsius over 500 meters, okay? So as a rate of change, what we're going to say then is that the temperature decreases because it's negative. The temperature decreases by 3 degrees Celsius for every 500 meter increase in altitude, okay? So as we go up by 500 meters, say from zero to 500 here, we could expect the temperature to drop by three degrees, okay? As we go from 500 to 1,000, we could expect the temperature to drop another three degrees, and so on down the line, okay? So that's how you use slope, slope excuse me, as a rate of change, all right? Find the slope, understand the units that are a part of the numerator and the denominator, or the y and the x, and then compare those.